Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. Easter's right around the corner, and I know everybody's got that ham on their mind, what they're gonna do for a family get-together. I've got a bunch of great videos and recipes out there on the channel and on our website for different ways you can do hams on your smoker. Today, I wanna share with you how I'm gonna do a country-style pit ham. If you've never had one of these pit hams, you're missing out. I've got a couple of the Compar Duroc family farms country pit hams and the the neat thing about them is these hemp these pit hams are boneless and they've been trimmed somewhat on the inside the pit stands for partially internally trimmed that's where they get the name from and then they form it back together and net it and then fully smoke it to where it's done uh, you may have seen pit hams before in the deli case because they make great slicing meat to make sandwiches with but they also go great when you're serving them for a family get together or for your Easter spread on Sunday. What we're gonna do today is take these pit hams, put them out on the smoker at 275 degrees, and we're gonna add some smoke to them. I'm gonna use a little bit of pecan, and we're going to smoke them just till they get to an internal of 140 degrees. That's all they need. Since they're fully cooked, we're not trying to really cook the ham anymore. We're just warming it up in a smoked environment. Now to make them extra special, I've got a glaze I'm gonna to put together, and this one's pretty simple, but it's a Dijon mustard, brown sugar, and a little bit of Coke glaze, and I'll show you how we'll mix that up and put it on at the very end of the ham stage, but you're gonna think this recipe is too simple and have to try it for yourself. Let's show you how we do it. Okay, we're out at the grill now. I've got my Yoder fired up today. It's sitting on about 275. We're wanting to cook these hams to 140 internal. You can see I've got these Compar pit hams out of the package. Haven't done anything to them. They're fully cooked and they're just, they just need to get in some smoke on some heat to warm them up. So we're just gonna set them on our grate, get them centered up. I'm gonna put them side by side. You notice there's not a lot of extra fat. These hams are just gonna have a great yield when they get done. We're gonna get a lot of perfect slices off these pit hams. Let's get the lid closed. We're gonna let it cook. Now I do wanna monitor the internal temperature. So after about an hour, I'm gonna come out and check it. I'll probably put a probe in it, looking for 140, but I wanna glaze it that last 30 minutes with this glaze that we're gonna go inside and make. So I'll show you that. Let's, let's go back inside. Okay, we're back inside and I wanna show you how I'm gonna make this glaze that's gonna go on the pit hams here just right before they get finished. I'm starting with a half a cup of brown sugar in a measuring bowl. Then putting in a half a cup of honey. This is going to kind of be a sweet honey uh, glaze. We're going to thin it down with a little bit of Coke and some Dijon mustard for a little bit more flavor. So I'm going to use two tablespoons of Dijon. And then when you get ready for the Coke, we're just going to use, we're going to start with a quarter cup because it doesn't take much liquid to get this dissolved and mixed up. Then just get a whisk and get stirring. There's no, you, you don't have to put it in any heat. We're just making kind of a sweet glaze and it's gonna caramelize on the outside of those hams there at the end. But you can see how it's mixing up. That was plenty of liquid, plenty of that coat just to get it going, just to get it working loose. It's good, but I think I'm gonna add just a touch of barbecue rub just to bring up a little more flavor in the outside of that glaze. So I'm just gonna give it a little shake of barbecue rub just for a little color, a little added flavor. If you had to measure it, just. You know, maybe two teaspoons is plenty. But now you can see it gave it, a, it, got, it got a little darker, so that paprika is really coming through. And that, so that's mixed up. We'll just put it in a squirt bottle, or you can brush it on whatever you'd like. I'm gonna put it in a squirt bottle today. So that's it for the glaze. Just let this sit until you're ready to put it on the hams right at the very end of the cooking process. We're gonna go outside and check the internal temperatures after they've been on about an hour. We're looking at about a total three, maybe three and a half hours cook time at 275 to bring those hams up. So this glaze is gonna go on right in that last 30 minutes once we see it hit about 130 internal. Okay, I wanted to come out and just check on the pit hams. I've had them on about an hour and a half. I went ahead and got a probe in one and I wanted to see how they're doing. You can see we're about 108, 110 degrees right in that range. When they get to about 125 is when we want to start putting that glaze on them. They're looking good. They're starting to get some darkness to them, some good color. And that's what we want to see. We're just going to keep letting them go, keep monitoring them. We'll get the glaze on here and we get about 25 more degrees on them. We should be good. Okay, you can see I verified here with my thermopen. Actually, this is my wife's thermopen. You wonder why I have a pink one. Now we're, we're right at 125. Well, that's, this ham's matching the back one. 
according to the dot. So we're gonna go ahead and get our glaze on. We need about 15 more degrees, but I want this glaze to have time to caramelize on to really get kind of a crunchiness, stickiness on the outside of these pit hams. So it'll be really great when we slice them. And I just poured up that glaze we made earlier into a squirt bottle and kind of took the top of it off so it would flow. And I'm just gonna kind of drizzle it over the top here. Make sure I don't get it on my probe wire because it'll be sticky. And it's gonna run, that's, that's okay. That's what we wanna see happen. We wanted to run all down to kind of just coat this ham. Man, you know it's gonna be good. Let's get this back. Already looks good. These Compart hams, you could eat them right out of the package and make some good sandwiches, but by the time you get them warmed up on the smoker, put a little extra glaze on them, they're gonna be the showcase of your Easter dinner. Anytime you're cooking a ham, wanna feed a bunch of people. All right, we're gonna get these closed down. We're gonna let this hams glaze for, until they get to 140, that's gonna be serving temp. It needs about probably, if I had to guess, it's gonna be 30, 45 more minutes tops. And I want it just to kind of get sticky and bubbly and caramelize up. So let's close the lid, let the smoker keep working. All right, our dot alarm went off, so I wanted to check these pit hams to see how they're looking. And man, that's, that's how you want them right there. The glaze is kind of sticky. It's making that kind of almost like a little crust over the top it's set real well. We're gonna go ahead and get these off. I'm gonna have to glove up because they're smoking hot. They've hit 140 internal. You don't want to overcook these pit hams. That's the biggest thing when you're when you're cooking one of these fully cooked hams. You want to get it off there um, instead of you know taking it over that 140 mark because they are fully cooked. So let me get some gloves on and get these off. All right, I got a platter here and I'm gonna grab these hams and carefully move them out. And this has been a simple cook. I mean, to turn out a product like this. Only three hours, 15 minutes. They're glazed, they're beautiful. They're ready to go to the dinner table. Of course you wanna rest them. We're gonna take them inside, let them rest just a few minutes. Then we're gonna carve them, show you what it could look like for you on Easter. All right, we brought these pit hams inside and man, I can't stand it anymore. They look so good that I'm gonna to have to go ahead and start cutting into them. Um, let's talk a little bit about what we did first. I told you this was easy. We took these Compart pit hams right out of the package Put them out on the smoker, no seasoning, nothing. Just have your smoker going 275 degrees with a little bit of smoke. I used some pecan pellets today, but you can use any kind of wood you want. Uh, cherry wood goes great with these. Any kind of fruit wood's awesome. You just wanna make sure whatever kind of cooker you're heating these up on, that it's holding about 275 degrees. It doesn't need to be much hotter. After about an hour, we started watching that internal temperature. When we saw it get up to about 125, that's when we come out with our glaze we squirted it all over the top and let it just heat up and run down the ham and glaze it. That glaze was simple. It started out with some honey brown sugar, a little Dijon mustard and a little bit of cola and just a touch of rub to give it some flavor. It's as simple as that. We got these hams off as quick as they hit 140 internal. We didn't want them to go any further and we let them rest. So let's go ahead and start slicing and see what we got here. Oh, look at that juice. What I like about these pit hams is they kind of already have a little score mark, so it's easy to tell where to slice on them. You can really get some nice slices. And you don't think this would look good on Easter and everybody's mouth's gonna be watering and can't wait to try a piece of, piece of this Compart ham? Man, you're wrong. And we don't have any loss here, and this is all yield. When you're cooking the bone-in hams, a lot of times, you know, a lot of it goes wasted. With these pit hams, since they're boneless, you're getting a lot of yield and it's gonna feed a lot of people. I'm gonna have to get a piece out of this middle. I don't need a whole slice. I just wanna try it, but I know it's gonna be fantastic. That's enough right there. Get back on the board. Mmm. Wow, that ham just melts in your mouth. It's got a little bit of that sweetness. It's picking up that smoke flavor from that pecan. That's awesome. Hey, you can get these Compart hands by visiting their website. They can, uh, you can order them right there and they'll ship them to you. You can also look in your local grocery stores and if you don't see Compart, tell your butcher that you're interested in it. He can contact Compart himself and find out how to order them and get them in the store. You're not gonna go wrong with a Compart pit ham.
And also, if you can't find the Compart brand, look for other brands of pit hams because this is really a good ham that you're not going to hardly mess up on the smoker heating it back up. It's going to turn out fantastic. You're going to make all your family happy with you on Easter or any holiday. If you like what we're doing here at How to Barbecue Right, subscribe to our channel. We're going to keep putting out these videos all year long. Also, hit us up on Facebook, Twitter. We love those interactions. We'll see you next time.